The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day to day, pause for speech, and night to night declares knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another very important portion of what you know. This is the second quarter final in the 2022 competition. Uh, this Sunday, the 5th day of January 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, the contestants are set for action very quickly. The contestants. My name is John Awuni, um, a native of the Zobulva Electra area in the Puzga district, and a last minute contestant. Mm -hmm. I am Aqua Emmanuel from I Am Free in the central region of Ghana and also a student of the University of Cape Coast under the tutelage of Paul Afariminta, also known as Little Safari. And I am George Venato, Little Group Accra. Richard Ankuma, a Utu Bodiasi. Round of applause for the contestant, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is the very important second quarter final in the 2022, com 2022 competition. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, I must indicate that Elena Anante, who is a, a, a veritable aficionado of what you know, is here now. Miss, put your hands together for Elena Anante. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Action stations! Round one! Question one! Yes, John! No, a battle is a violent fight between groups of people, especially one between military forces during a war. Now, war, on the other hand, is an intense armed conflict between states, governments, societies, or paramilitary groups, which, such as mercenaries, insurgents, and militias. Now, it is uh, um, mortally, uh, mortality using regular or it is, sorry, generally characterized by extreme violence, destruction, and mortality using regular or irregular military forces. Now, in which war did the Battle of Le Late, Le Late, L E Y T, Late Gulf, take place? Late Gulf. World War II. World War II is correct. Thank you very much. World War II. Now, Henry VIII was king of England from 2022, 20, sorry. 22nd April 1509 until his death in 1547. Henry is best known for his marriages and for his efforts to have his first marriage and knows Now Henry VIII is one of the most written about kings in English history. Henry VIII came to the throne when his father, Henry VII, died on 21st April 1509. Now he was a powerful man and a charismatic figure perhaps best known for his you know uh, uh, tumultuous love life and the establishment of the church of england now tell me who was the first wife of king henry the eighth who is doing this emmanuel sure. you understand i think that we, we've elaborated you know, on the tumultuous, you know, the hazardous marital life of this particular king of England. You know. when and so we want to know who started the whole scheme of marriage this year. With whom did he start this whole connubial disasters? What do you say? Mary Winslow. Mary Winslow? Yeah. No, no Mary Winslow. There's no Emmanuel. Uh, uh, George. Catherine. Catherine of Ireland is correct. <laughs> Now, how many wives did King Henry VIII have? Seven. Uh, second chance. Eight. Should I say third chance? <laughs> <laughs> that certainly is impossible in what you know. Um, Ankuma, Richard? Five. An Ankuma, Don? Six. Six is correct. <laughs> so when you mention all the numbers and so on, and we leave six. Uh, untouched, then sex will be available for declaration. Sex. Now, if Catherine of Aragon was the first of the six wives, can you mention one other wife? Jane Seymour. Sorry? Seymour or Jane Seymour. Jane Seymour is correct for three points. 
Now, um, for three points, um, it's, it's yours, um, Emmanuel. Now, the British royal family comprises the king, the queen, and their close relations. Now, there is no strict legal or formal definition of who is or who is not a member. Although the royal household has issued, you know, different lists outlining who is a part of the royal family and so on. Now, they support the monarch in undertaking public engagements and then pursue um, charitable work and interests. And you understand that recently, you know, the Duke of Sussex, you know, the success, has uh, been, you know, um, in, in the picture. But which British king abdicated in 1936? You understand? The, the, is this, you know, phenomenal, you know, well-noted abdication in the monarchical history of England, you know? Abdication. Who did? Abdicate. Yes, um, George. Prince Henry. P Prince Henry did not uh, abdicate. Yes, uh, Richard. Um, yes. King George V. King who? George. King George did not abdicate. Yes, John. I would it? King Henry the Fourth. Um, Henry the Fourth. Did, did you start? You started. Yes, I started. Edward the Eighth. Edward. He was the one who abdicated. Edward. He abdicated. So Emmanuel Akwai, we're still with you. A crown colony or royal colony is a colony administered by the crown within the British Empire. You understand? Now there is usually a governor. The governor is appointed by the British monarch on the advice of the United Kingdom government. With or without the assistance of a local council of which the British Crown Colony sorry, of which British Crown Colony is Hamilton the capital. You, you, you understand? That's why I think the prefactory message is very critical. Something, something you need to listen to the prefactory, the, the pre the, the, the preface of the question to be able to properly comprehend the quality of the caliber of the question being propounded by the quiz master. Of which British Crown colony? You know Hamilton. Uh, yes, it's Hamilton the capital. Um uh Minato George Denmark. No. Yes, uh, 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 Richard Akuma. Bermuda. Bermuda is the, the country. Bermuda is the country. Now, but there is this city which, whose name translates as end of the elephant task. End of the, of the elephant task. Who's sitting there? Hatum. Me? Hatum. Sorry? Hatum. Hutum. Hatum. Khartoum, Khartoum. Mm -hmm. Sorry, thank you. Yes, Khartoum. Now, uh, now for three points, uh, John Awuni. Now, a nickname is a suitable, uh, sorry, a substitute for the proper name of a familiar person hmm? or a thing, and so on. You are, you know, um, conversant with this. But commonly used to express affection, a form of endearment and sometimes amusement. It can also be used to express deformation of character. You understand? It could be derogatory. Now, as a concept, it is distinct from both pseudonyms and stage names, and also um, from titles, although there may be overlaps uh, in these concepts. Who was nicknamed the Admiral of the Mosquitoes? Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus is correct. <laughs> now, Friday the thirteenth is considered an unlucky day, you know, in Western super superstition. It occurs when the thirteenth day of the month in the Gregorian calendar falls on a Friday. Now, which happens at least once every year, but can occur up to three times in the same year. Last Friday was the thirteenth of January, twenty twenty-three. Yeah. In the world of phobias, how would you call the fear of the number 13? The Trista de la Phobia. What? 
you have a second chance. I think the, the pronunciation is also paramount. You understand? I think the question master would, 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 would pay particular consideration. It's yes, para, the, sorry? Para de calo, ferodoscophobia. Para de coro, de coro. And so, where, where are you taking me to? <laughs> Benato, I know you're a great contestant anyway. But Benato, this time I disagree with you. I, I really vehemently disagree. Richard! No, no idea. Yes, John. Um, it's either. Uh, well, don't give me two. Okay. To Pariscavi decatriphobia so, or. Which one? Pariscavi decatriphobia. Pariscavi. 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 Yeah, decatriphobia or Triska decaphobia. Triska decaphobia. <laughs> All right. Triska decaphobia. You understand? Now, but what is the fear of Friday in? in the the, fra the fear of Friday the thirteenth. You understand? There are two co concepts. Fear of the number thirteen, but this time fear of Friday the thirteenth. That is Pariscavi Deca triphobia. No. Pariscavi Deca phobia. Deca triphobia. No. Hey, you might know Pass. It's called pass. The answer sounds like <laughs> very but quickly. But as KV decatriphobia. Those is another is a, a monumental something. A monument. With due respect of confusion. <laughs> yes, uh, is it uh, uh, Richard? No idea. Huh? So you only need to add Frigga. So continue with the the what Friga Triscadecaphobia. Friga Triscadecaphobia. <laughs> it's a mouthful, you understand? Friga Triscadecaphobia. Huh? Now acting is an activity in which a story is told by means of its enactment by an actor or actress who adopts a character. Now, in theater, television, film, radio, or other medium, the next use of the mimetic mode now if an actor dries who is doing this one john john what would you say what would you say what does he do um, he has forgotten his lines <laughs> uh, so if i decide to tell you uh, to recite something hmm? the national anthem the third yeah, so when the, the, the actor is, forgets his lines, it is correct for three points. <laughs> then I stand. So you're on stage, and then you are, as it were, reciting all your words. All of a sudden, you get caught somewhere. I think you need to be prompted by those at the back of the stage. You should tell you something. You know, my friend, oh, this is the next line. So when you dry, it means you've forgotten. Huh? You're caught. Huh? You've forgotten your lines. Now, um, uh, who is there? Is it uh, Emmanuel? Emmanuel, what name would you give to a semiconductor with three or more electrodes? This is phys physics. Transistor. It's a transistor! <laughs> the name you would give to a semiconductor with three or more electrodes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the round. And very quickly, we'll come back to you for the pursuit of the remaining rounds of the competition. And of round one. We gave you great experience from the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 match day show. And for this year, 2023, we can only give you same or better treat. The match day show for the Championship of African Nations, Chan or Jaria 2022, comes your way every day from the 4th of January to 11th of February 2023 at 10 a.m. to 12 noon. The Chan or Jaria 2023 match day show, live only on GTV Sports Plus and GTV. GTV Sports Plus, the legends live here. This is 
GBC client service. Hello, thank you for calling. GBC provides you the platform to amplify your brand reach. When you advertise on our seven TV channels and eight regional and district radio stations across the country, please reach our social department at sales at gbcghanaonline.com and telephone numbers 0303959604 and 0303959605 for all customer care issues reach us by email care at gbcghanaonline.com and on telephone 030 3959605 and 030 3959606. GBC still the most authentic voice. At the end of the first round of the competition, George Venator Letup Group Accra has one point. Emmanuel Aqua, I am free in the Upper Dentra district of the Central Region, has three points. <laughs> Richard Ankuma Ewutu Bojiasi in the Central Region has four points. <laughs> and in the lead as at now is John Nawuni Zwaboga in the Pusika district of the Upper East Region with 14 points. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome to the second department of this exercise. We're dealing with the second quarterfinal of the 2022 competition. Uh, presently, Donna Woody of uh, the Zobuga Electoral Area, Pusiga District of the Upper East Region, is prominent. Let's see what unravels. In the second portion of this exercise, round two, question one. And uh, who's there? Is it George? Uh, George, you are doing this one. George, that's NASA. NASA. You know NASA. N-A-S-A -A is an acronym. The mission is to pioneer the future in space exploration. NASA. What is it? It's an acronym. NASA. N-A-S-A. -A. Whose mission, as you are indubitably aware, is to pioneer the future in space Exploration. National Aeronautics Satellite Agency. You need to go do it again. Oh, it's unfortunate. Yes, what do you think NASA is? Yes, um, uh, uh, Rachel. NASA. NASA. Otherwise, NASA. Um, National Aeronautics and Space Administration. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, ladies and gentlemen, is correct. One point. <laughs> National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Now, what would a student be studying if he signs up for a course in semiotics? Semiotics. Semiotics. S E M I O T I C S. Pass. Yes, Iman Lakwa. You'll be studying signs and symbols. Symbols. Semiot uh, did I spell it? Yes. S E M I O T I C S. Semiotics. You'll be studying symbols and signs. Semiotics and signs and symbols. Yes. Semiotics is the art of uh, using symbols to illustrate language. No, no. I'm not, I'm not asking you to define semiotics. I say if a student is pursuing a course in semiotics, what would the student be studying? He might be studying symbols. No, but your friend said the same thing. He said symbols and I marked him down. You understand? So uh, it is incongruous, you know, for you to repeat something the quick master has turned away. Yes. And Kuma George Richard. The student will be studying letters. Letters. You do study letters at Ligon? 
Uh, or at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science, or in any other university, something called letters. I think you should be able to define a concept, a define or mention a course that is pursued, hmm? especially at the tertiary level. The person will be pursuing communication. Communication. Now, this republic, it occupies the western part of the island of Hes. Hespa Hispania. What, which republic is this? Haiti. Haiti is correct. Three points. <laughs> now, um, which bone of the body is also known as the innominate bone? Innominate bone. Please, can you spell it? Innominate. I N N O M I N A T E. The innominate bone. Is it a clavicle? It is not the clavicle. The cranium. It is not the cranium. What do you think, George? It's the hip bone. It is the hip bone. It is the hip bone. The innominate bone is the hip bone. Now, but there is this creature. What sort of creature is a mud puppy? Mud puppy. You understand? The nickname Mud Puppy, M U D. Puppy, Puppy Dog. P U P P Y, Puppy. Mud Puppy. Lizard. Well, I, I think that I'll allow you. Yes, I'm, I think, yes. No, it, it. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. Yes. Um eh? Richard. Antelope. No, no. <laughs> yes, John Awuni. A gamma lizard. Oh, because you, you realize the quiz master is swerving towards lizard. you know the lizard phenomenon. So you think there is something lizardy, as it were, about the whole concept something lizardy what is lizardy here my friend Emmanuel aqua it's alligator it's a salamander mm -hmm. you understand the, the salamander you know they're a group of amphibians uh, we are typically characterized by their lizard like appearance you understand they look like lizards but they are not lizards and with slender bodies blunt snouts short limbs projecting at right angles with their body and the presence of a tail in both larvae and, and, and adults, you understand? So that's a salamander. Salamander is lizard-like, but not lizard, but not a lizard. Who is there again? George. George. Now, there's this long-legged legged insect, which is known as a water spider. What is the other name of a water strider? Alligator. No. Millipede. I disagree. Yes, George, George, to Ankoma, Richard. Of course, the name is not commonplace. Honestly, it is not commonplace. Look at that. No. Uh, uh, John. A turtle. John. Iman Emmanuel. Pass. Uh, George, oh, George yeah, started. Said, yeah. it's, it's a pond skater. Please notice. It's a pond skater. It's not commonplace, so you need to note it. Pond skater. Now, in which country is Alfin, Alfin, the designation of its parliament? You understand? The name of the parliament of that country is Alfin. A L T H I N G. All thing. What country has all thing as as a parliament? Haiti. Haiti hasn't got all thing. All thing. All thing. All thing. All thing. Yes. Turkey. Turkey for Ankoma. John. Iceland. Iceland is the answer. It's Iceland. Now. Polo, polo, it's a ball game played on horseback. 
a traditional field sport and one of the world's oldest known team sports. How many players are there in polo? In a polo team? Four. Four is correct. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in my name, uh, now, sport is an activity involving physical exertion and skill in which an individual or team competes against another or others for entertainment. Now, you mentioned two of the sports in which the left-handed are not allowed to play. This, you understand? It's very important. Hmm? Polo and die align. Die align. Sorry? Polo and die align. The, the, the two sports in which left-handed people are not allowed up to three points. Which are two. <laughs> you know, the applause is not immense. Sports uh, in which left-handed you know b b b people are not allowed to play. Mm? Now um, chess. As you are aware, it's a board game between two players. It is sometimes called international chess or western chess, which is meant to distinguish it from related games. Now there is this chess piece, which can only move diagonally. You understand? When you're playing chess, there is this piece, which can only be manipulated diagonally. Diagonally. Diagonally, sorry. <coughs> Diagonal. Diagonally. Do you understand? Which is, which piece is this? George. School. Uh, are you conversant with uh, chairs? Do you play chairs? No. <laughs> so how did you find this? Oh, oh of course, but I said, what do you know contestants? who has tremendous immense knowledge of, of matters in this world you have an obligation to know whether you play or not your duty is to discover all the elements about anything in the world yes is it Ankoma? bishop well the bishop of canterbury or no. <laughs> are you sure about that do you play chess no. then how do you know bishop who is a bishop no, who is a bishop in chess? Who is a bishop? If you say it's a bishop, who is a bishop in chess? If, if I'm not how, a huh? how did you get to know? Put your hands together in the naked world. You know, so there are these uh, uh, characters, these uh, pieces, and so on in the game of chess. Yeah, they have an assortment, you know, uh, variant names, and so one of them is identified you know, here as bishop. Uh, which is manipulated diagonally. Now, listen, the Ga Homowo is celebrated by the Ga traditional people in the months of July and August every year. Which section of the Ga people first observe the festival? Is it you? Richard. Jamestown. You understand? It is celebrated by the Ga people. We know the, the various groups of Ga's, you know, in the, in the, in the Ga traditional area. So many of them. You understand? The, which one did you mention? I said Jamestown. Jamestown is one. But they celebrate July, August. Who, which people celebrate first? You said Jamestown, no. Second chance. Bessie. Bessie, they don't. They are not the first. Yes, John. La. Who is that? It's John. 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 Uh, okay, I'll go for the Wulomis. Ah, but why did John say <laughs> this? You know, this is a, a convoluted, you know, engagement of, of the what you know process. You understand? Yes. The Wulomis. The the the, the, the Wulome. <laughs> No, no. It's the Wulome, Not so. Yeah, Wulomo singular. Wulome. Plural. I'm a gamma. <laughs> will not mean. But when you see if you say will not, they will not mean, where, where will they be? <laughs> where will they be? I don't know, will not mean all, all over the place? They will not mean all over the place. So when you say will not mean, we, I call a, a community of will not mean, and where? 
I disagree. Yes, Aqua. You okay. have come from I am free in danger, and yes. you, you have an obligation to tackle this dark question. <laughs> from the lap people. La. The la the from the la people. Traditionally. <laughs> from the la people. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not from the la people. Be careful about the accent. <laughs> <laughs> from the la people. But not from them. Uh, John, you were eager. Uh, mm. you know, even when it was not your turn, <laughs> you were you were making an effort. As but it can't be oh it can't be passed he started it <laughs> yes he started it the people of Nungwa, mm. huh? the people of Nungwa, you understand huh? I, i'm yearning for the the what's the people or something mm. the people of Nungwa, Nungwa. No. and when what date is it yeah what date is this on what date do they do this first celebration of Omo War. When is this? Yes, it's back to you, uh, Ankuma Richard. That is 13. Oh, no, no not data, so You when? When? Um, August. Yes, no, no, but when? First week of August. No. Yes. Uh, uh, Aqua. First Friday of August. Uh -huh, I like that effort, but it doesn't work. <laughs> yes, George. In the second week. First of Saturday in July. End of round two. <laughs> First Saturday in July. Nungwa. Maybe a shot, but no doubt he went straight for goal. Battle begins from home. Yes, the prowess of the African talent blossoms from home to the world. The seventh edition of the Total Energies Championship of African Nations, Chan Algeria 2022, assembles the best of the local based talent. From 16 nations in Africa for honors. Watch all matches of Chan 2022 tournament from 13th January 2023 to 4th February 2023 on GTV Sports Plus, GTV, Obonu TV and Garden City TV. The 18 radio stations of GBC will also feed football commentary lovers with awesome flair of the direct details of the tournament. GTV Sports Plus, GTV, Obonu TV, Garden City TV and GBC's radio station, your home to all the action of Chan Algeria 2022. At the end of the second round of the competition, George Venator has two points. Richard Ankuma has five points. Emmanuel Aqua came with six points. And still in the lead is John Nawuni with 22 points. So the, the, uh, the status of her competition uh, uh, has remained the same. You know, I'm winning, um, John Awuni is still pre prominent. Even at this stage of the competition, ladies and gentlemen, we're entering the very final stage of the contest. Let's see how things would unfold in this final department. Ladies and gentlemen, atmosphere is perfectly charged for the pursuit of the final round of the competition. Round three, question one. And um, the person to do this is Richard Ankuma. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I must remind you that we have here in our midst Alina Anna, Anante. Now, she has been a devotee of what, what you know for so many years. So she's here in our midst. Put your hands together and uh, congratulate. Welcome, Alina Anante, once more. Now, um, listen. After welcoming Alina, listen. Richard, tell me for three points. Now, um, I'll give you a message first. During the, the AD hundreds, an, elect, an Alexandrian astronomer compiled most Greek and Roman geographic knowledge up to his time. Now, he also proposed new methods of map making, including the projection and the creation of atlases. Now, in his famous geographic syntaxes, 
he divided the equatorial circle into 360 degrees and constructed an imaginary north south east west network over the surface of the earth to serve as a reference grid for locating the relative positions of known land masses such as islands and continents now who is this alexandrian astronomer who is he identify this alexandrian astronomer yes john socrates socrates no? John. Emmanuel? It's Ptolemy. Ptolemy what? Ptolemy. P-T-O-L-E-M-E. Well, you how do you pronounce it? Ptolemy. 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 Ptolemy, ladies and gentlemen, one point. Ptolemy. P-T-O-L-E-M-Y. Now, this was a conflict in southern Africa between Britain and the allied Africana popular. The Boer War. Sorry? The Boer War. How, how do you know it's the Boer War? The conflict in Southern Africa between Britain and allied Africana populated. It could be another war. The Transvaal and the Orange Free State. Yeah, in what is now South Africa. Also known as the South African War. Put your hands together for you folks. <laughs> 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 That's the Boer War, the Boer War. Then, now concentrating on South Africa, there's this Sharpeville massacre, this malevolent, you know, event, which occurred in, in South Africa. Sharpeville massacre, a malevolent, you know, uh, event that occurred when South African police opened fire on a crowd of black protesters. The confrontation occurred in the township of Sharpeville, in what is now Guantang province in northeastern South Africa, in which, now tell me, in which year did this unfortunate event take place? So, so bad event, understand? Where you find the, 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 the ruthless massacre of protesters, you know, uh, 1992. One ton shooting by the police and so on, people just falling. I could see in, in one of the. 1992. One of the films of. On this particular day. sorry 92 no i disagree chap v which year? 1990 no it was like the case of one man who was shot and us he, he fell to the ground you know his own daughter was was also there trying to wake him up of course but to no avail 19 which year 1987 i disagree yes john 1960 1960 is the, the, the Shabuya massacre. Now, a galaxy is a gravitationally bound system of stars, stellar remnants, interstellar gas, dust, and dark matter. Now, the word galaxy is derived from the Greek galaxies, literally Milky, a reference to the Milky Way. Galaxies, you know, the range in size from dwarves with just a few hundred million stars to giants with 100 million trillion stars each orbiting as galaxy's center of mass at its galactic center of mass now m31 is the closest spiral galaxy to us what is the other name for m31 andromeda sorry andromeda andromeda galaxy andromeda galaxy now, um, uh, Emmanuel, now listen, now many of us go through our lives worried about other people's successes, not knowing all the failures and hard work they put in. Successful people always seem to have their, their act together. Many are just struggling to get through, you know, their, their day. Are they just lucky, intelligent, born with a silver spoon in their mouths? No success is, is not limited to race, IQ level or size of the bank account, as it were. So while there is no proven formula 
there is no denying people that we admire that there are people we admire the share certain traits that have them get ahead get the the what do you get get the ahead habit as it were now if you practice entracty entracty e n c r a t y you understand this is the birth of the matter if you practice entracty as a habit what would you be doing it abstains talking entracty the abstinence from or self denial something like self denial abstinence from what Abstinence. We said abstinence from, from unholy things. Of, <laughs> of course, it's abst abstinence. Put your hands together. Abstinence. Now, a, 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 a biologist, you know, is a scientist who has specialized knowledge in the field of biology. You know, the scientific study of, of life, as it were. Biologists involved in fundamental research attempt to explore and further explain the underlying mechanisms that govern the functioning of living matter. But what does a neurologist study? What does a neurologist do? Neurologist. N-O-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. Study of blood cells. So a neurologist does not study blood cells. Yes, um, study the mind. Sorry, the mind. He uh, he studies the mind. <laughs> he studies the mind. Now, but which dictator is said to have preferred fifty thousand rifles to fifty thousand votes? You understand? It's, it's a very monumental statement, you know, which finds space in the records of history. But he said. Rather than votes, count on votes and democratic exercises and so on, he uh, he he loves you know democratic processes and votes. He would rather prefer violence. Well, that's what it means. So he says, I prefer fifty thousand rifles to fifty thousand votes. Who is this man? A woman. Yes, Richard Ankuma. Mobutu says Seko. Mobutu says Seko Kuku when you was a banga. I disagree with you. I was only trying to give you the full name. <laughs> Mobutu says Seko. Huh? Kuku when you was a banga. Yes, John. Benito Amelka Mussolini. Yes, Mussolini is a person here. Mussolini. M Mussolini. Now, a treaty is an agreement under international law entered into by actors in international law, namely sovereign states and an international organization. A treaty may also be known as an international agreement, protocol, covenant, convention, pact, and exchange of letters, among other terms. Identify the treaty that made the Vatican City an independent state. The Treaty of Visalis. How can the Treaty of Versailles <laughs> make the Vatican State Versailles? I don't understand. That's, that's, that's miles apart. Versailles. The treaty that made the Vatican City an independent state. Is the Treaty of... Has the, has, has the Pope been buried? Yes. Yes. He has been buried. So you should, you should know what is going on in the Vatican. The Treaty of Rome. Okay, so you are coming home a little. <laughs> he, he mentioned the cells and the Treaty of Rome. Which treaty would that be? Yes, George. Pass. George, Richard. Pass. It is known as the Lateran. The Lateran Pact. The Lateran Treaty. Now, for three points. How is the study or practice of, of fermentation in brewing Wine making or distilling scientifically known. Who is doing this? John. John. The study or practice of fermentation in brewing. 
wine making or distilling how is it scientifically known you should go to a car brewery find out what they're doing over there it is crystallization no crystallization brewing eh? fire water and so on is it on neurology study or practice of fermentation the fermentation process you have to be very careful in, in, you know, in distinguishing the particular you know uh, uh, process here the process here is the fermentation process in brewing in wine making or in the distillation of our, our petition george i wanted to mention distillation <laughs> <laughs> yes what well, you have recollected um uncle man zymergy zymergy that's why M U R G Y, Zymergy. Now, name the scale used to measure the apparent density or capacity or opacity of smoke. Uh, John. More scale. The scale used to measure the apparent density or opacity. You understand? So we have to be very careful. The opacity of smoke. Angel man scale. Sorry? Angel man scale. Angel man skill, yes. Yes. Manometer. Manometer. The opacity. Yeah? The opaqueness. Of smoke. Angel man skill. Which angel? So he mentioned skill. angel man. So you should have mentioned angel woman. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? At least to, to make a difference. Not to, to depart in a way from his opinion. But you don't repeat what he has said. Yes. Wretched. Ranger man. No angel. Ranger man. R I N G E L man M A N N. Ranger man whose members get promoted to glory on their death. John. Salvation Army. Of course, the Salvation Army put your hands up people. You understand? Huh? There are promotions, there are, there are these earthly promotions, not so. So that you could have a promotion if you're in the army, if, if you're promoted from lieutenant, where would you go? Next thing, where would you go? Yes, uh, Major. Auni. Major, Major, Major General. Lieutenant? Captain. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? But if you die, where will you go? Huh? You will be promoted to glory. Okay. End of the competition. begins from home. Yes, the prowess of the African talent blossoms from home to the world. The seventh edition of the Total Energies Championship of African Nations, Chan Algeria 2022, assembles the best of the local based talents from 16 nations in Africa for honors. Watch all matches of Chan 2022 tournament from 13th January 2023 to 4th February 2023 on GTV Sports Plus, GTV, Obonu TV and Garden City TV. The 18 radio stations of GBC will also feed football commentary lovers with awesome flair of picturesque details of the tournament. GTV Sports Plus, GTV, Obonu TV, Garden City TV and GBC's radio station, your home to all the action of Chan Algeria 2022. We gave you great experience from the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 match day show. And for this year, 2023, we can only give you same or better treat. 
the match day show for the championship of african nations chan algeria 2022 comes your way every day from the 4th of january to 11th of february 2023 at 10 a.m to 12 noon the chan algeria 2023 match day show live only on gtv sports plus and gtv gtv sports plus the legends live here At the end of the very final round of the competition, George Venator let up group Accra had two points. <laughs> Richard and Koma Ewutubadriase in the central region had six points. <laughs> Emmanuel Aqua Ayamfuri in the upper Dentra district of the central region came with 13 points. And with 30 points, John Awuni Zwaboga in the Putiga district of the Upper East region came tops. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, um, in, in consonance with tradition, I would invite all of you to put your hands together and congratulate the personality who was the met in front at the end of the proceedings here this afternoon. Welcome this particular individual from Zwaboga, electoral area, Putiga district in the Upper East region of the Republic of Ghana. Uh, but of course, I would want all of you to congratulate the other personalities. I think they have performed brilliantly and they deserve the praise of all and sundry. Imanu Akwa, George Venator, and Richard Akuma, spectacular contestants, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for all of them. We come to the end of the whole caboodle. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up. Let's count on us upon all of you and grant you peace on this note. And until the same time, next week when we bring you questions from archaeology, to all of you on behalf of my producer, ladies and gentlemen, Francis Mensah, Kinsley Abuaji, Francis Tetrado, Collins Mensah, Samuel Logo, Chris Olaita, Ankura, Felix Abiviade, Victor Niadi, Greg Mengel, Sedna Mensah, Don Pobi, David Tedeku, Benny Zero Two, and Kanjaga. Lagatin. This has been your quiz master. Dana Ferry Abuad asking you here. And those out there, it is what? What, what? What do you know?